Hey there. So are you looking for some ways in order to get your fridge back in order, but on a budget? Well, stay tuned as I walk you through how I got my fridge organized on a Dollar Tree budget. The fridge and the freezer. They are essential to our homes, but they can become so disorganized and it's hard to find what you're looking for. So today I'm gonna walk you through a couple ways to reorganize your space in order to get it working for you on a Dollar Tree budget. Who doesn't love the Dollar Tree? But before we jump in, if you are new, I just wanna say welcome and thank you for coming to check out my channel. My name is Lindsay and on my channel, I talk all about getting you organized to save your time, money, and space. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any other videos as I post them every single Wednesday. So let me open it up and show you what we did. All right, so first things first, this is pretty cool because it has the quick access door. So the stuff that we keep down here is beverage things that we use every single day. And then there's this awesome swivel drawer, which the thing that I love about keeping the condiments in the door is because most of the time you can actually lift these trays out. So this one actually lifts up. I have to use two hands, but it lifts up. And if we're having like a picnic or something outside, we can just take this whole thing right outside. Then up top, we just have the rest of our condiment kind of stuff. On this other side up top, I just have like our butters, extra little things that didn't fit in the door over there and then like beer all right guys so here is the inside there is so much space in here it just blows my mind all right so very top left here i have a leftover station now this basket did not come with the fridge i had this in my old one and i just added it in here and i can put leftovers here so that way we see them eye level so like when hubby's coming to pack his lunch or i'm coming to make ellie and i's lunch we can just come right here and see if we have anything left over all right next shelf we have our eggs i can actually fit this can slide all the way back and i can fit a whole another 24 case here and then on the right hand side we have kind of our beverage station so up top i keep all of our like milks coconut milks almond milk that kind of stuff and then any like refills so i keep that all the way in the back of the fridge because we don't need it right now so, all right so we're getting into the dollar tree organizing so both of these soda holders came from the dollar tree i love them because it's easy to access your soda whole bunch of extra space if i were to need extra space like if we had a party or something i needed to put extra food here i could easily move those back all right guys so these beauties or a new find at the Dollar Tree. This came out with all of their spring stuff. They're so pretty. Beautiful, like kind of weaving pattern on there, but they're these are plastic, so they're nice and sturdy, but they're great because if it anything does spill, you can easily just wipe it out. But I love to use baskets in my fridge because it actually functions as a drawer. So like here. You can actually just pull it out, see what you need, and put it back. And again, we have a lot of extra space that if we need to, we can push these back. And here are like sides and some dairy stuff. But again, super easy to find what you're looking for because of the drawers. And then this side is all like our snacky type stuff. So we always have, you know, yogurts on hand and of course, cheese sticks. <laughs> So all these labels that you're gonna see are actually ones that I used my Cricut to create. And I used the like Cricut vinyl sheets. So just cut it out and I just stuck them down. But you could easily make your own labels. You don't have to do anything fancy like this. I just had some vinyl on hand so I thought I'd step it up a notch. All right, so these drawers down below, this one is just all of our veggies. And then over here, instead of using this as a fruit drawer, because generally most of our fruit I actually keep out on the counter, I used it as a cheese drawer because as you can see, we kind of like cheese in our house. That is again from the Dollar Tree. I really like these containers. I really liked the idea of having like the cheese slices set aside from the rest of the cheese. So I just have all of our cheeses kind of grouped together. So like these are our block cheeses, shredded cheeses, 
slices, etc. And then this bottom drawer. I love this drawer. I never had anything like this before, so this is super exciting. You can fit so much stuff down here. So here is those little containers again. I just like to keep like our little snacky hummuses. And then here is just all of our like lunch meat. And again, I am keeping everything in its own container so that way if there are spills, I can easily wipe them up and it's not gonna get on the bottom of the drawer. So same thing here, this is from the Dollar Tree. This is just a dish pan, you guys. And I'm using this as my meat drawer because I will tell you, so last week, I did not have this in here yet. And I had purchased, um, actually this ground beef and just set it in the drawer. You guys, it was disgusting. It leaked everywhere down here. So I had to take everything out, clean it all up. So this way, if that happens again, I just have to take this pan out. Our freezer is on the bottom in this one. All right, so I will tell you, this freezer drawer was a little more challenging for me to organize because I've never owned one before. I didn't know exactly how I wanted to use it, so I kind of had to live with it for a week and then come back to it. So first off, I love that it has two different sections. Top section, I have it divided out into two different areas. So this area you will see is kind of our dessert station. So we've got like popsicles, chocolates, ice cream are some cookie dough balls that I had made but I didn't want to make all of the cookies at that time so I just froze the dough and then I can just pop these in the oven and make them later and this little guy you might be wondering um why do you have money in your fridge this is a great way to tell if you have lost power for an extended period of time if you are ever out of town so all I did is just froze a little bit of water and then once it was completely solid I placed the penny on top so that way if we see next time we open this that the penny has sunk into the water we know that probably this freezer was out of power for an extended period of time then in the very back here I just put all of our ice packs and then on this side is kind of my veggie station I like to chop up veggies that might be like on their way out so that way we can use them for like stir fries or in different dishes that the texture of for example these peppers isn't going to matter because it would be cooked down anyways i just have these all in one of these shoebox containers from the dollar tree so the other thing that you're going to notice is how i have these all laid in here kind of similar to how i like file fold clothes and it is just to file these in here so that way you can glancing down at it you can see everything that you have super easily this section down here i used some more dollar tree bins in this section is our smoothie section so i typically like to put together some smoothie bags it's super easy you just put whatever you might want in your smoothie in a bag and the next time you want to make a smoothie you can just take it out but again just file these all in there this section back here minus this guy which somebody left at our house from a party but this is all stuff that is pre-made things that either i bought or i made so like for example i have a ton of pancakes so these are things that i can pull from on a busy morning if i need something quick for my daughter to eat i can just pull these out and warm them up and we can be on our way okay so this section is kind of my meat section so this is like beef chicken and then extra stuff over here and then this guy back here this is actually stuff to use for chicken stock i like to make my own chicken stock in my instant pot so anytime i have like a rotisserie chicken or like extra veggie scraps or veggies that are on their way out i'll just pop them in here and then once this is full like right now it's full and i need to make some then i can just use it to make some stock well, i hope you guys liked the look into my fridge and freezer and that you picked up a couple tips that you can incorporate into your own fridge so let me know in the comments below are you headed to the dollar tree thanks so much for watching you guys and we'll catch you next time